Penne Pasta. The PS4 and the Xbox One are almost upon us and that means the end of a generation. What that also means is an easily contrivable retrospective top 10 list looking back at games from the past generation. It's easy to do, the choices can be bloody arbitrary, and people are going to complain and get involved in fights and stuff because these lists are controversial for some reason, and that's just easy views. This is how you game journalism, my friends. This is how you game journalism. Anyway, let's look at the top 10 video games of this past generation. Mm. <laughs> Many people criticised Too Human when it first came out, but that was just because of money hat bias, bias money hat trolling. Too Human was a game people just didn't understand. It was, it was operating on an intellectual level far above the common comprehension of your average game critic. It had a guy called Loki in it, and we all liked Marvel's The Avengers, didn't we? There you go. Obviously it's a good game. Idiots. <laughs> what could be better than sitting down and watching James Cameron presents James Cameron's Avatar by James Cameron in association with James Cameron? Why, playing James Cameron presents James Cameron's Avatar by James Cameron in association with James Cameron. Imagine the rich, vibrant, wonderful world of James Cameron presents James Cameron's Avatar by James Cameron in association with James Cameron but a world you can actually get into and play and enjoy and adore. This is the beauty of Ubisoft's interactive take on James Cameron Presents James Cameron's Avatar by James Cameron in association with James Cameron. James Cameron made it. He's James Cameron, everybody. James Cameron. <laughs> Now I like to put down little obscure games, games that came out and not a lot of people noticed they came out. For example, I have not stopped playing Half-Life 3, you've probably never heard of it, but it's a beautiful game involving deep characters and this amazing sense of pace and level design. There's a fluidity to Half-Life 3 that you just don't get in other games. Half-Life 2 was popular and its little episodes that came out people loved and obviously the first Half-Life was seminal, but Half-Life 3, after years of waiting, really, really knocked it out of the park. And you should get it, I don't know why people haven't picked it up yet. Please, go out and get Half-Life 3, you owe it to your computer to have a game that brilliant running on it. Mm. <laughs> when people look back on video games of yore and think of the most gripping storylines, the most emotional scenarios, and characters that almost feel human, too human you might say, Dynasty Warriors 7 is going to be up there. This is in many ways the Citizen Kane of gaming, and I say that because I've never seen Citizen Kane. And you should really just go out and experience the visceral brutality of warfare. Only Dynasty Warriors 7 can do that. It's a game that really takes the interactive medium and lets you think, well shit, this is war. This is the human condition. This is emotions which are emotional and get me in my emotion box. You should play Dynasty Warriors 7 because it's going to teach you a few things about yourselves and each other. It holds up a mirror to society. It's a twisted mirror, sure, but it's a mirror nonetheless and you should look into it because you will see a reflection and of, of a guy. <laughs> it's legit. <laughs> Take everything that Dynasty Warriors 7 did, make it extreme, and make it legendary. You've just imagined Dynasty Warriors 7 Extreme Legends, and you don't even have to imagine it. You can rush out right fucking now and play it. How is Dynasty Warriors 7 Extreme Legends so good? Well, look at the title. They've spelt extreme with just an X and two E's. Yeah, they're legit. Go out and buy it so you can be legit as well, you chungus. <laughs> With Dynasty Warriors 8, Tecmo Koei knew they had to shake up the series. They had to reinvent the formula. People were crying out for something fresh, and something fresh is what they got with Dynasty Warriors 8. 
Moving the action to ancient China was a bold new move for the series, and introducing evocative new characters like Cao Cao, Sermei Yi, and yes, even Lu Bu, was something just unheard of. It really resonated with the audience and with good reason, Dynasty Warriors 8 is legit. Just that moment when Zhang He shoots the boss in that field of poppies, wow, it really made me cry in my heart. Dynasty Warriors 8. <laughs> Velvet Assassin was a game so overwhelmingly brilliant, I could only stand to play it for two hours. I couldn't get past the halfway mark in the game because it was so unbelievable. It was amazing. It made my jaw hit the floor. I don't really want to describe too much of it because I don't want to give too much away, but this is a game in which you get to kill Nazis. It's a game in which there is a woman one. There is lighting. I've seen at least three graphics in it. Velvet Assassin is the way to go. It's so brilliant you won't be able to stand playing it. <laughs> Few long-running franchises can really stick it out through multiple generations, but Val Kilmer, the man who was the Batman, certainly did it with great aplomb. This is a man whose, whose interactivity is just on another level, it's something you can't get anywhere else. It's almost like you could talk to Val Kilmer and he'd respond. I mean, he wouldn't respond. He's Val Kilmer. He's better than you. But he could, and we believe he could, because we're that far into the journey that is Val Kilmer, and the graphics are just sublime. The ripple effects alone are something you could only get on next generation technology, except this is this generation technology. Val Kilmer is a technical masterpiece in a technical world. <laughs> nah, just kidding. No one liked that game. <laughs> Not just the best Call of Duty game ever made, one of the best shooters ever conceived by human hands. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 was not only a drastic reinvention of itself, it overhauled first-person shooting and elevated it to a level that previously we couldn't even conceive of. With its epic storytelling, its brilliant characters, and a multiplayer mode so fresh, you could put it on your salads. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is everything video games represent. They are the alpha and the omega of video games, and absolutely nobody, nobody who's ever played it has a bad word to say against it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the greatest video game of the generation.